Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 21st of January 2021 and the time has just gone 6.02 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is a Brent crude oil, the cash contract. Um, the oil market has gone a very um, impressive rally recently, uh, only last week, only only in the, the middle of um, only in the middle of January, uh, have we, did we see the oil market hit its highest level in 11 months? Now, why is this? Uh, it was partially driven, it's mostly driven uh, by the announcement in early January uh, that Saudi Arabia will cut output uh, by 1 million barrels a day in both February and March. Also playing in the, in the mix uh, is falling U.S. stockpiles. Uh, recently, there's been hopes uh, that the new Biden administration is going to get on the spending route, help the U.S. economy get on track. Uh, this week, we've seen better than expected uh, growth figures, GDP figures, and industrial production figures out of China. Um, these have all been contributing to, to the upward move uh, in, the oil, in the oil market, uh, but not all of the news has been positive. This has also been balanced out by the pandemic. Uh, there, are po there are tougher and uh, extended lockdowns coming into place in Europe. There are pockets of China, which is obviously the largest uh, importer of oil in the world. There are pockets of China uh, where lockdowns are coming back into place. So there are some concerns uh, that, that demand will weaken because of the health crisis itself. Uh, on the flip side, vac vaccinations have been rolled out, but realistically speaking, it's going to be some time. So, but overall, the net impact has been quite positive. You can see here the brain crude oil, oil has been in a solid upward trend uh, since November. Like I said, only um, only last week, I hit its highest level in 11 months. And if you do press on higher from here, because we're currently trading around 55, 55 97. If you do press on higher from here, where could we look to, to be heading uh, to the upside? Well, if, if the bullish run does continue, we could be looking at heading up towards 200 week moving average here, which comes into play at 58 spot 65, which is this red line along here. And we can notice how 200 week moving average acted nicely as support on a few occasions back in August of 2019. We can also see in 2020, it acted as both support and resistance. In fact, when the, when the crisis really kicked off, we had a, we had a rebound in the oil market and into mid in, into early February. We can see that the we can see that uh, Brent crude oil that the highs of mid February didn't actually get get up as close to the 200 week moving average, but nonetheless they got, got they got reasonably close. Um, essentially, the metric has been of, of importance in the past, whereas making whereas whereas been um, in this case, both uh, support and resistance, it makes it more likely it'll be of importance in the future. So keep an eye out on that level there, which is 58 spot 60, 65, the 200 week moving average. And if you go beyond that, we can then be looking at targeting uh, the kind of psychology board 60 bucks per barrel. Now, if you do see any moves to the downside, where could we look at, at where could we potentially be looking at heading back towards? We could be looking at heading back down towards this blue line here, the 50 day moving average. That comes into play just north of $50 a barrel in a 50 spot of 17. And you know, not only is it kind of $50 a barrel, a kind of a big number to keep an eye on itself. The blue line here, the 50 day moving average, acted as both, you know, as we can see here, resistance uh, back in October and also acted as support in early November. So once again, the 50 day moving average has been an important metric in the past, so it could be of importance in the future. And even if you do drift below uh, the 50 day moving average, you could potentially find, find support from the lows of early December, which come into 46 spot 81. And as we can see here, the last few months, buying on the dip has been a popular strategy in, in the last few months as the oil market continues to have moved higher. Now, if you are going to be trading uh, Brent crude oil, it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on on WTI, West Texas Intermediate, the other uh, popular energy contract. Um, one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other, which essentially states um, two markets that are quite similar um, should be moving or are, are likely to be moving in the same direction. So if you're, if, you, if you're trading Brent crude oil and you notice that it's in an upward trend, if you then see that a similar contract WTI is also in an upward trend, you can then be more confident that Brent crude oil, uh, it, Brent crude oil's upward trend is going to continue. And it's a similar situation here. You've seen 
average TI moved in a solid upward trend uh, in the last few weeks and months. It was only the middle of last middle of last week that we also see WTI rack up an 11 month high. So if we're seeing multi-month highs being achieved on WTI and Brent crude, you're going to be more confident of the wider upward trend uh, in Brent crude is going to continue. Um, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good training day.